Yeah. So this is Sir Oswald Mosley. I don't know if anyone watches Peaky Blinders, but <clears throat> I've just literally finished it. And yeah, I want to look into this. Um, matey, this is pretty much our Adolf Hitler. Like he was mates with Adolf Hitler. Um, or at least that's how Peaky Blinders made it out to be. Uh, but I do know Oswald Mosley's name, and I know that, yeah, he was our fascist Nazi politician. He just never actually got anywhere with it. But, yeah, so I do want to actually look into him. Champions of new young socialism enlarges on his manner. And isn't that crazy? What do all these little lefties call themselves today? Socialist. Champion of new young socialism enlarges on his manifesto. Isn't that funny? To this fascist. He uses socialism. And Hitler was the same. His was the, what was it, the German Workers' Socialist Party or something like that. That's how they do it. And it's the left that's doing it today. But anyway, this is our Hitler, so this is, yeah, let's go. Well, obviously it wasn't our Hitler because he didn't actually kill millions of people. He was just racist. But yeah, let's go. Whatever view is held of Sir Oswald Mosley's political faith, few will deny an interest in the personality of the most prominent of the younger statesmen. His independence of thought. His vigour and vitality have earned respect in every section of political opinion. Mm, let's go. is the real issue raised by our manifesto. You will not agree with us if you are content with things as they are. If you are willing to let this country just drift to disaster. But you will at least hear us with sympathy if you are aware of the gravity of the national situation. If you believe that government by talk must at last give place to government by action. We believe that we cannot muddle through this time. But we also believe that with effort and with organization, this country can be greater and more prosperous than ever before. We do not propose dictatorship because the control of an elected parliament is still retained. But we do propose a drastic revision of the parliamentary machine in order that the will of the people may be carried out. We have no real democracy at the present time because again and again since the war the country has voted for great changes and for decisive action yet again and again their will has been thwarted by obstruction in the talking shop at Westminster. True democracy only begins when the will of the people is carried out. For that purpose, we propose a new machine. A fight lies before us. A fight for action, for vigor, for vitality and manhood in government. A fight against the forces of drift, of despair, Uh, I'll, this is the lo longest one I can find of him. If anyone has a longer clip or can get a longer clip, I'll watch the whole thing. But it's crazy. Um, let me go back, hold on.
We have no real democracy at the present time because again and again since the war, the country has voted for great changes and for decisive action in thwarted by obstruction in the talking shop at Westminster. True democracy only begins when the will of the people is carried out. For that purpose, we propose a new machine. A fight. This is what worries me at the moment. We are ripe for this to happen. It didn't work then because the attitude of the country really wasn't there. As much as he did have some support, he, he England, England just wasn't that way. But what I'm saying is n now, you got to think, if a man stands up at this point in time in England, like Hitler did, at this point in time, what would be classed as traditional English people, English tradition is being destroyed. English everything is being ripped apart from the inside in our own country we're like bending to the will of the left and all it is doing is alienating and marginalizing the majority of a country which is white people and white people are doing it to themselves which is the crazy thing but it won't last forever and all it's going to take at, I really think at this point in time because I'll tell you why because everybody who once was left now is converting to conservative because of how extreme the left has become and how unrepresented any normal person actually is by the left and that scares me it's why I refuse to change from the left, despite how much they're destroying its reputation. I will stay liberal and left because it, everyone at the minute who has been left wing all their life is now seeing what a complete lie the whole thing was, how they completely rewrote history and they completely put history into the realm of the victim and the oppressor and today they only view the world in terms of the victim and the oppressor and people are sick of it and it's not just white people that are sick of it everybody's sick of it oh yeah and people that was once left instead of seeing the extreme left for what it truly is them extreme left they don't care, they care about gay people they don't care about black people or any minority group they're using them to get power they're power hungry and they're nasty people that are only out to divide and people are seeing that and going from that to um, waking up from the left of how extreme the left is and how wrong they were and instantly jumping to the right and the right shouldn't have all that power Conservatives, I understand now, because I do, a lot, most of the people I watch are conservative, because there's no moderate left anymore, there's no liberal person, they're leftists, whereas I truly think that the people that was left and converted <clears throat> to becoming conservative, I understand why, and I did it initially. But there has to be a balance. And the trouble is, is, yeah, at the minute, it's going way left. And it, physics and everything in the universe 
it's a it's a rule of physics. Uh, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, which means the farther you further you push something that way, it will spin back and go the other way. So now the power is so extremely in the left that it's going to come back and it's going to be extremely in the right and as much as conservatives do um, have a lot of points good points of how to live your life the people are kind of waking up to it and that's what's converting them the trouble is is yeah left wing extremism where it is now where they are communist is leading to Maoist China and Stalinist Russia um, and any other communist hellhole you want to pick but the, that is what happens when the left goes too far but the trouble is is that rebound comes back and the right The thing, the difference with the right as well, is as much as the left has got shit done, definitely, by pressure, the right is uh, definitely more... What's the word? Definitely more... They're better at it. They're better at it. The left is too crazy and that's the trouble. The left has gone so far now where they go. Nothing has no meaning and nothing's nothing. Like I said in one of my other videos. We can't even say that the end of the year is when the end of the year is anymore because of other cultures. And it's like that shouldn't matter. If you come here and you're Jewish or you're Chinese and you have a different new year. You can still celebrate your new year. However, in our country, the new year is now. And the only way a society can stay together is, is if we all share a basic set of values and principles. And we don't. And that's why people say multi-ethnicities is fine. Multi-ethnicities work. But multiculturalism doesn't. And it doesn't work because different cultures have different values and you can't have that. It doesn't work. It leads to nothing but friction. And you're seeing that. And this is the other thing. Um, this, yeah, this is the other thing. Listen to that man speak. I expected to hear him being racist because that's what you heard of him. Everything he said in that is no different to what any other politician says. It's all the same thing. <clears throat> and they disguise it behind something good. And it's not. And that, to me, is what he's doing there and what the left is doing now. They're disguising their power hungry drive. They're disguising that behind caring about black people, caring about gay people, caring about trans people. And he's like, Do you want to know the truth? Yeah, black people are capable. To think that you need to help the poor black man. Or the poor black woman. Because somehow. What? You think they're less smart than you. They're less capable than you. It's proven not to be true. It's proven in our country that. The lowest group of people to go on to college and university. And to. Yeah. To that. The lowest group is white people. It's thirty two percent white people. Go to your college and further education. Thirty seven percent black. 
which we're both, to be honest, quite low. And that's the funny thing. Black and white, it seems to be, seem to be very focused on each other. Black. White people feeling condemned by black. And made to feel guilty. And black people are taught that they're oppressed by white people. And neither one of them is true. Because ultimately, in the Western world, guess who's the two at the bottom? We're at the bottom of a society arguing over how much guilt I should have and how much am I oppressing you. But it's crazy. It's crazy that these You see what I mean? This man was notorious fascist. I know him. I've never watched a single thing on him. I've never read anything on him. Just through his legend and aura alone. Because we don't have many fascist people in our government like that and that's why he does stand out and he was our Hitler or tried to be it just didn't yeah, work out for him but when you hear that you expect to go like I said I expected to come back here and, and hear him go um, black man is the devil and homosexuals should be shot and, and, and it'd be like that but it never is and this is like really make people realize that a politician never says that. They never actually say what their like true thing is, and they always hide it behind doing something good. Because if they're doing it just behind that, and you call them out for it, they can just say, "Well, you're against this," and it's just your hatred that's doing it. Anyway, enough rambling. I hope that wasn't too fucking rambly. But, and that kind of made sense a bit. I don't know. I can't remember what the fuck I said, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I hope you like that. And tell me your thoughts. Do you, do you think I'm fucking talking out my ass about the left? And they are the good guys in society? Because I'll tell you now, I don't, I don't look at the left anymore and think I want to support them as, because they're on the side of the right. I mean, the not the right, but I mean the not the wrong, the right. Do you know what I mean? They're on the side of the good, I guess. And that's was their whole thing. We're on the right side of history, and it's like it turns out they are, but they are on the right wing side of fucking history. But then let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And yeah, if you think I'm chatting shit and the left are great, please. Please. Prove me wrong. But anyway, that's the reaction. Sweet. <laughs>